Welcome to this video about career databases at the Phoenix College Library. In this video, we'll go over locating and accessing databases at the PC Library, searching those databases for information about careers, and utilizing database tools to make your research efficient. So to access these databases, we need to return to the Phoenix College Library homepage and scroll down just a bit and keep in mind, if you use the OneSearch tool, you can search many of our online databases. So that's one way to access these articles. But I prefer sometimes to go straight to the list of databases and just work, work with one database at a time. Sometimes the interfaces are a little more easy to use when you're looking for certain material. And also that way you can tailor your search a little bit easier than using OneSearch, which will search everything at once. So if I click on databases, it will bring me to this page. We have over a hundred databases at Phoenix College and they vary from some databases like in the Start Here category that are big and broad and cover just about every topic to other databases like under Dental for Dentistry, these focus just on certain topics. So depending on what you're interested in and depending on what your assignment is about, you may find that certain databases work really well for what you need to find. If you're not sure which databases would be helpful for your project, make sure you talk to a librarian and we can recommend the best databases to help you efficiently find the information you want. For this demonstration, I want to show you one that focuses on careers. So this is Ferguson's Career Guidance Center. It's down under the Business Career category. So if I click on this link to open the database, it will prompt me, if I'm not on campus, to log in with my MEID and password. Once you do that, you'll have full access to all of these databases. So when I do that, Ferguson's will pop up, and here's the database, and you can see there's a few different options. This is a really nice database because it allows you to research and explore careers, also to link that to your education, plan out for whatever career you may want, what are the schools and the programs that you might want to consider. They have tutorials to help you when you have a job interview or you're applying for a job, and then they also have a tool where you can search for jobs and internships to see what's out there and available. So to start off, I want to go and research a job. So I'm going to go to Research Industries. That will take me to this page. And you can see it gives me a few options, right? Some of the kind of featured um, industries like education or nursing. So let's say I'm interested in being a social worker and I want to find more information about that. I can type that into the search box. And you can see right off the bat, there's an option for social workers. And I'll click on that in a minute. But as I scroll down, you'll see there's some other related options, right? So social workers that work with the geriatric community, um, social media workers, which is not quite what I had in mind, but uh, the words kind of popped up, right? And I can scroll down and you might get some good ideas as you scroll down and see what's related. The other thing you can do is limit to the type of source you want to uh, take a look at. So in addition to articles um, about the career, they have videos that you can limit to. They have short blog entries that are more informal and just focus on one aspect of the job or, or industry. Um, they have professional advice uh, that you can look at. So there's a number of ways that this can help you to find out more about the career you're interested in. If I click on social workers, this is the basic article that you can get. And you can see there's some quick facts about the median salary, what kind of education you need, what are your duties, uh, what's the outlook. And then there's a longer table of content. So if you want to know what skills and experience or even personality traits work well with a certain career, it can help you with that. What kind of education will I need? Um, I think it's really useful to kind of look at the earnings and to look at the future outlook to get a sense of as I grow and as my career moves on, what do I expect to make? How can I progress and are the jobs out there? So these can be really helpful resources for exploring careers. And like all of our databases, they have a few tools. You can save this article if you want. You can share it if you want to email it to your instructor or friends or classmates. And they also have a citation button. So if you need to cite this article in your research paper, you can do that. And all of our databases have that feature. In addition, if I wanted to um, take a look and get some help, let's say you have a job interview coming up or you want to apply for a job, they have these tutorials, again, videos and um, written text that can help you with things like forming a cover letter or writing a resume or preparing for an interview. So that's another good way that you can use this resource to help you. And finally, 
they have a database that you can search for job postings. So if you want to know what's available in Arizona for the career of social work, or if you want to know what's available nationwide, you can change it to another state. Or if you just want to search based on salary, if you say, I will do any job as long as it pays this much money, you can do that and search for jobs that, let's say, just make a hundred grand or more and see what's out there. So there are all different ways you can use this database to find out more about careers and what you're interested in and what might be a good fit. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please visit our webpage and use any of these wonderful services. Thank you.